Another attempt to address the gender equation will come up before the Senate in a few hours' time. Senators will finally have the opportunity to express themselves on how best to meet the two-thirds gender requirements, just like their colleagues at the National Assembly did in April, an attempt that sank. In light of this foregoing, the Gender Ministry is trying to lobby senators to adopt the bill. Gender Cabinet Secretary Cecilia Karioki and the person behind the bill, Senator Judith Sijeni, made the case for the bill before Senators Ali Morning. And this was the best formula and the easiest and the most direct that was agreed upon that would help achieve uh, this gender principle and avoid having those lacunas or constitutional crises because the constitution is the supreme law of this country and has to be adhered to, to the latter. And the conversation we are having this morning uh, does confirm a bit of what we picked as um, perceptions, perceptions that indeed the issue of the not more than two-thirds bill is about women. Indeed, it is about gender. In the rallying call, they maintained that the bill provides the best opportunity for the country to address gender imbalances. From where I sit, I choose to look at this whole discourse as not necessarily being in compliance of the Constitution. I choose to look at this as a development issue, social inclusion, political inclusion, power sharing issue. And therefore, going forward, if we agree, like the executive is absolutely clear, has demonstrated and made commitment uh, very loudly through the champion of gender equality and women empower empowerment, who is none other than His Excellency the President, Progress for women is progress for all. Senators in attendance pledged to marshal requisite numbers to ensure the bill sails through. Most of the time, uh, when we try to create space for ourselves in these positions, we face challenges from men. And I'd like to tell men, women are their mothers, their sisters, their daughters, and their wives. We can't do without each other. So we really want men to come and give us support. This is not only women affair. And to be fair enough, uh, and I want to emphasize on this, it is important that we have this bill go through uh, so that we can let the women of this country also enjoy what is theirs. And remember when we are talking about... No man who is leading in this world has never been carried in a womb of a woman. So women are very strong. And uh, for this matter, personally, I feel we have to support the bill, and we are going to campaign also in the floor of the House to make sure that the bill passes. Uh, I may just... Uh... Nominated Senator Zipora Kitoni, however, warned that the war on gender equality will not end if the bill sinks in Senate. What has taken us to this level? Why have we pulled ourselves so much? on something that we would have finished and respect the Constitution. And so really I say, so why do we have to convince them? Let the Kenyan women decide. If this one will not go through today, decide their destiny. And we will show the men what we need to do as women of Kenya. Eric Biegon reporting for Channel One News.